Hey guys, this is Karen for Storyblocks, and today we're learning how to create jump cuts in Adobe Premiere Pro. A jump cut is a cut between two sequential shots where the camera angle doesn't change or only changes very slightly, and the subject appears to jump or shift in the frame. Jump cuts are perfect for YouTube and social media videos because they'll really help you trim those longer shots in order to keep your videos moving and hold your viewers' attention. To get started, I downloaded a clip from the Storyblocks library. It's about a minute long, and what we're going to do is cut it down to 15 seconds. If we take a closer look at our original clip, we'll see a lot of moments that don't need to make the final edit. So for example, right here where our subject is fiddling with this cable, or a little bit further where she's adjusting the shirt in the suitcase. So in traditional editing, when we cut out these parts, we would smooth over the edits by cutting to a different camera angle or cutting to a B-roll or a cutaway shot. Sometimes, however, you don't have different camera angles and you only have one setup and maybe one shot. So what that means is when we go in to make our edits, the cuts are going to have the subject jump within the frame. So they're just not going to be as smooth. Now, if you were to only include one jump cut in your edit, it would look a little bit off. It would look a little bit weird. But if you use multiple jump cuts and make it part of the style of the video, it can actually look really cool and really fun. So let's make our first cut. I'm gonna scrub my playhead across the video until our subject completes the first action, which is placing the sweater into the suitcase. So this is about the end of that right here. So I'm going to press the C key on my keyboard to activate the razor tool. You can think of it like C for cut. So I'm just gonna click right in that position where I've got my playhead, and make that first cut. Now I'm going to scrub my playhead across through this part that maybe we don't need. So she adjusts the sweater, she pulls her hands out of the frame, she picks up the camera. And we want to get the precise moment where she's about to move the camera into the suitcase. So we can use the left and right arrows on the keyboard if we want to get more precise about it. So that looks good right there. I've still got my razor activated, so I'm going to just click in that spot. So we'll switch to our selection tool by pressing the V key. If you have trouble remembering the keyboard shortcuts, just hover over the tool in the toolbar and the tooltip will come up and tell you what that shortcut is. So we've got V for selection. We'll click on that section that we don't want and press delete on the keyboard. Now that is gonna leave this gap in the middle. Click on that gap to actually select the gap itself, press delete, and that's gonna ripple delete and pull everything to the right of the gap all the way in. Okay, so let's play it back. And that looks pretty good. Let's do one more. This time she's placing the camera. So as soon as the camera is placed, we're gonna activate the razor tool again. Let's see, click it, scrub through the part we don't need, like her pulling her hands out of the frame, picking up the cable and adjusting it. And then we'll make another cut here. V to activate selection tool, select the part we don't want, delete it, and then ripple delete. So let's play back this whole part. So that looks pretty good. I do think in this section here, there's maybe just a little bit that we don't need where she's adjusting the camera strap. So this is where we're going to use a different tool that's gonna to be good for getting more precise and just editing a little bit quicker in general. And that's gonna be the ripple tool. So I'm gonna press the B key to activate the ripple tool. Now what this is going to do is make a cut and delete that gap all in one swoop. So we'll just have fewer clicks than in the previous edit that we were doing before. So I wanna work with this clip here, and what I'm trying to do is get rid of just that part where she adjusts the strap, just to kind of quicken the pace a little bit in my edit. So what I'm gonna do is grab onto the end of this clip and just drag it. Now if I look in the program monitor, when I move my cursor, the clip to the right is not moving at all. I'm not affecting that clip, only affecting my first clip. And I can really watch exactly where I'm cutting in the program monitor. So I'm just going to keep pulling it back until just when she places the camera. And we don't have really all that adjustment with the strap. So we'll let go. And then you'll see how that is just going to ripple delete and pull it all in. In one, one move basically. So let's play that back. Okay, so we've still got a little bit of adjustment. I could go in and pull that in a little further, or I can leave it 
it's kind of up to you and depending on the pacing that you're going for. So that brings us to the end of this tutorial on jump cuts brought to you by Storyblocks. See you next time.